Hello, I have a quick two for the price of one favorite things. Um, my first thing we'll be looking at is my new handheld palette. I got this at the beginning of 2019 um, and I've been enjoying it. I'll show you a little bit about how I use it um, and why I got it. Um, and the second part is right here, this guy. This is called a palette garage and this is how I store my oil paint between painting sessions. Uh, and it keeps things from drying out and I will go over how that works. Here's the painting I'm working on. I actually have a full spread of color laid out on my palette, so probably close to 12 colors. I have plenty of space for it. I have plenty of mixing space. When I mix up a color, I can compare it directly to what is on my canvas um, and hold it side by side. So it takes a lot of guesswork out of mixing. Again, here's my palette. I have three yellows, three reds, three blues. Lots to work with here, and I still have plenty of space left over to mix those colors. The other reason I'm enjoying this palette, it has a cutout for my arm, so it makes it very ergonomic to hold in my left hand. And it has counterweights on it. That's what these little uh, pieces of wood are that are glued onto the back. That keeps the palette perfectly balanced, so I can keep my hand open and relaxed, and it prevents a lot of fatigue while I'm working. Cleanup is pretty simple. I'm using water mixable oils, so my palette knife is used to scrape down the palette. I reload uh, paint that's still in good condition into my palette garage for my next session. And then I scrape up everything. I used a little water, and because this had been sitting on my palette for a while, I actually cleaned up with Gamsol to get everything ready to go. Here's a quick tour of my palette. I'll put my colors into my notes. Three yellows, three reds, um, and two blues. I have a green, a viridian, um, and then lots of space left over in order to mix. This is the palette garage, so I reload my paint onto here. It is just a tube that closes up. There's a little drywall corner that's plastic that holds the paint in place. So I've scraped it back onto here. I'll close it up, pop in the end. The end cap is what makes this work. There's a little piece of felt in the end cap, and that felt holds clove oil. The clove oil keeps the oil paint from oxidizing. So between sessions, I will have a little skin that forms on oil paints if it's been over a week, but that's it. They stay fresh and ready to go for my next painting session. All right, there you have it. Some of my favorite things that I use in the studio. If you have questions about palettes, send them my way. If you have questions about Palette Garage, send those too. I'm not sponsored by Palette Garage. That is just something that I found really, really helpful as a planner painter, and it's awesome in the studio also. Um, you can follow me on YouTube at LA Sunberg Art, and also same handle on social media. Thanks for watching. Bye.